Hello, hello, hello. Mr. President, in talking about the continuing recession tonight, you have blamed mistakes of the past, and you have blamed the Congress. Does any of the blame belong to you? Yes, because for many years I was a Democrat. To deal with these challenges, the Democrats present a history-making nominee for president. History-making in that he's the most liberal, most inexperienced nominee to ever run for president. The reason that he's considered such a big deal is simply because he's black. He is a, a, a black candidate surrounding himself with a lot of white advisors. Neither one of us can point to one thing Barack Obama has done for African Americans. Well, first of all, well, nothing. Fine, balanced journalism. The circus elephant, his head full of ivory, a long memory and no vision. And you have seen elephants being led around the circus ring. They grab the tail of the elephant in front of them. The Republicans said during the elections that it was all about jobs, jobs, jobs. But then they come in and immediately cost us jobs instantly. And they say they don't even care. Offered their own ideas the other day. Many were the very same policies that led to the economic crisis in the first place. Which isn't surprising since many of their leaders were among the architects of that failed policy. To tell you, you know, it's, it's part of reporting this case of, of this election. The feeling most people get when they hear a Barack Obama speech, my, I felt this thrill right. going up my leg. I well, mean, I don't have that too often. Steady. No, seriously, it's a dramatic event. He speaks about America in a way that has nothing to do with politics. It has to do with the feeling we have about our country. And, I, and, and that is an objective assessment. There's a lot of bias in the, in the media. Um, that's why, unless you've already really determined how you feel, you could easily be swayed by someone speaking and you know portraying someone as an excellent candidate when really they're not all that great. There's an awful lot of bias. It just depends on the, who the commentator is and how how they vote, Republican versus Democrat. Whether you what you hear from them. Yes, there's quite a bit of bias in the media. I do, I do try to stay up on current events. I usually, I'd say I look at the New York Times online at least once a day. I try to read my local newspaper daily also. I read it online. And those are my main sources of, of news. Um, I do get The Economist, which, which is a great kind of, uh, it's a British magazine, but they have a large section in the United States. And that's, that's a great way to stay up on, on global current events as well. If you guessed that having three channels of nearly 24-7 political news, coupled with, I don't know, like a million political bloggers, would mean that American voters are well-informed, think again. And I don't think people are just that, are, I know a lot of people are just not all that educated as to what's going on in the government and how people are voting, the people that they elect and how they're voting. So it's kind of sad that I feel Americans in general are just really uninformed. I would say there is a general lack of knowledge when it comes to politics, but, but I think that a lot of people don't understand that the ways in which politics does or doesn't affect kind of the larger society. Um, I feel like my vote will make a difference. That's why I love to vote. Uh, I think particularly in North Carolina, those of us who lived here in the last presidential election, it was very exciting because we felt like our votes did matter. And in the primaries last go round, we also felt like our vote mattered because North Carolina has such a late primary that sometimes it feels like our primary vote doesn't matter. But when it was Barack Obama against Hillary Clinton, it was going down to the wire and uh, I felt like my primary vote mattered also. I don't think that any of us really think that we can make a difference in this world just by our vote, but we really can make a difference.